Hi there folks and welcome back. <clears throat> okay, so we've gotten the triple gears taken care of. Now we've got our three transmission drums and the drive gear and the two matching keys that have the big flat spots on the back. So what we're going to do is assemble our drum assemble the drum assembly. Boy, there's a tongue twister. Now this is a 267 brake drum. So it has the uh, removable shoes on the inside. These have a little bit of scuffing on them, but not bad. The drum itself is in very nice shape and checked for cracks. Same way with the other drum and the third drum. Uh, we were lucky that we were able to find drums. All the rivets are tight uh, in all three drums those have been checked also the bushings even though there's more than one transmission here because it took more than one transmission to find good parts the bushings are fine uh, normally you'll find these big bushings are okay unless it's something that has had a catastrophic failure or ran low on oil something along that nature but generally these big bushings are okay if they're not it's not a big deal you got to do just like the triple gears, press them in, and I usually chuck them up in a lathe and, and fit them that way. But we were lucky, these are okay. So let's put the drums together. First, we're going to take a little, little oil. These have been all bead blasted quite some time ago. Same way there, I coated them with fluid film. I've rinsed that fluid film off since. So we'll coat the shaft in this surface here and let's put a little on the bushing itself. I see that struggled a little going on. It's a little little tight at the top but you can see it spins nice and free. So that, that was a good one. Next we're going to oil up our other surface here down on the flats. other drum and we will put some lubrication on there as well a little on the back slip that one down on and you can see it fits real nice all right so there the three drums are together and looking good now we're going to put the two keys in remember these are the ones with the flat spots we're going to Tap them in a little bit here, just real gentle, and we're going to taper them in at the top. Got to make a little wedge shape. Those fit in there nice. Keys look to be in nice shape. And we're going to take our driven gear, and we're going to try to line those up. get those started and then I'm going to take it back on my press I won't take you along back there because my back room is a mess all right the keys have started I'm going to go back I'm going to put a piece of flat plate on here push this home till they're flush that's all you got to do all right be right back one point I forgot to make. When you're pressing here, what you're pushing on is the brake drum, okay? Now you can see it's recessed up in here, right? So it's very important to set, not let the drum touch the press plates. It's to set something here, doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's deeper than the drum, and support this center hub so that you're pushing directly on the center hub. Otherwise you take a chance of breaking this very expensive and hard to find brake drum. All right, now we added that, I'll go do it and I'll be back. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> As you can see the driven gear pressed on nice and flat and the drums 
turn like butter. So this one's separate, that one's separate. So it's all good fitting and lubricated. Now triple gears. All right, back to those mysterious triple gears. Well, the triple gears have to be in time. And <clears throat> there's marks on the triple gears, but not on the driven gear. On the bushing side of the triple gear, there is always one tooth, usually with a U around it. It can be very hard to see. There's also teeth with lines in them. No idea what that's for, but it's the one with the U where the, the notch in the tooth, the groove is highlighted. If you want to be sure that it's correct, then I lost my marker, where this notch is, this notch and this notch in each gear and these this pair of teeth this pair of teeth this pair of teeth all line up that's the only spot on the gear that they do that so if you are questioning it you look straight down two two and two all right so now we know how to find the gear on the timing mark on the triple gear with the bushing side up because your flywheel's here on the driven gear there's 27 teeth so you just pick a tooth, slide your gear up here, okay, you got to turn the other drum a little bit, find your tooth, okay. <clears throat> so then you mark this tooth and then you go nine over, so you go, you're on the tooth that you marked, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you put a mark on that tooth. Then you take your other triple gear and you slide it up there. Align your horseshoe mark <coughs> with that tooth you marked. And then the third one, so you start on the one that you marked and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mark that tooth. Slide that triple gear up there. They'll rest on the drums. And then if you want to be sure, just count over to the next gear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we're back on a marked tooth. So there you have it. The triple gears are up there and they're in time. Now we gotta pick this thing up, flip it over, and align these four pins. Okay. Trying to do that any other way is kind of tricky. But what I like to do Take a piece of safety wire down in this groove here of the second bearings, pull it around, and twist it. Okay, I'll pick these drums up. That still lets it move a little bit. In fact, I'm going to. Tighten that up like so. Then I'm also going to put some kinks in it like that. All right, <clears throat> so we should be able to. Should be able I didn't like how that went so there we just made the wire tighter so we should be able to pick this thing up without them falling off and have it go on I'll meet you at the transmission Okay, here we are at the motor where the transmission goes. We're going to lube up the triple gear pins. I've already lubed the bushings in the triple gears and the one in the main shaft here. We'll get some oil on there. <clears throat> and here we go. Let's see if this works. Here we're gonna... Okay, folks, we're back. <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie to you. 
I flipped this thing over and the triple gears fell off. I didn't have the wire tight enough. So yeah, it happens. But we just picked up the pieces, new piece of wire, and away we go. So let's try this again. Start it on the main shaft. Look at there, fell right on. But, you see it turns okay? But, I wasn't gonna lie to you and tell you that it all went just dandy. Because it happens. So we're gonna go down here, take off this wire. Like so. Be sure you get it all. Here we go. Throw that in the trash. So now, you can see, everything turns just like it's supposed to. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get the clutch basket. And we're going to drive that on and put the lock in it. And we'll go from there. But hey, we got them back in time. The bushings are good. See how the one drum turns faster? Uh-huh, we're all good. So besides dumping the uh, triple gears on the flywheel, we did all right. All right, hang on, I'll be back.